rooms, run away naked in faraway forests. Mm. You can focus on your writing, and then we can talk about babies and a big house. We'll be deep in our forties by then, and everybody will be going, "Oh wow, what cute grandchildren you have!" Come on, baby, feed my soul. Yeah. I'm Miller. Is coming to town. So I am overwhelmed with the warm reception that I've received back in the country of my birth. Why did you run off to Australia? Come on. Why must you racialize everything? It's so unnecessary. I racialize everything because I'm South African. It's my culture. Look at me. I'm a white guy. I'm not going to live forever. I'm going to enjoy some of this whiteness. Plus, I'm rich and famous, so I can. Must be awesome. Hey. Must be so hey. cool. Tennessee. Some of these kids are in my class. As we continue to zoom in on South African films and the film industry, we've invited Gekhi Solidika, who is the director, producer and actor in the movie. He joins us now to tell us more about Catching Feelings. Hey. Thank you for having me again. I'm Catching Feelings for that amazing trailer. Yeah, please do Catch Feelings. It's great. It's a great film. I really enjoy it. I watched it again recently after maybe a hundred times and it still works. So yeah, I'm glad. I'm happy that South Africans are going to finally get to watch it. All Next right. week, on the 9th of March, it goes out nationally. Okay, give us a brief synopsis about Catching Feelings and, and how it came about. Um, uh, how it came about or the brief synopsis? <laughs> I'll, I'll start with the brief. It's, 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 I mean, it's, a comment, it's commentary. It has a lot of commentary about Joburg and race and South Africa and you know, relationships. And it kind of centers on this guy uh, who I play. Who's a, who's a university professor, he teaches English at WITS, and uh, he's a writer, sort of, he used to be great, but he hasn't really done anything amazing recently. He's married to this great wife, you know, who's very ambitious, played by Pearl. Um, uh, you know, a lot, the, the, the idea, the, the vibe is that she's a bit out of his league, so he's got insecurities about having such a beautiful wife. And then this hedonistic superstar professor who's won Booker Prize and he's kind of Nobel, Nobel Literature Laureate, he comes into their house through like crazy um, uh, circumstances, including um, a heart attack from, uh, from taking uh, Viagra. So when he's in the house, he then, you know, th there's a tension between him and his wife. You know, it's like a love triangle that is developed. This guy's insecurity. Basically, he's Bamusha Pakastina, as you say. And what does it feel like for you as a producer, as a director, to work on something and then finally see it coming t to light? Do you sort of see it through a different lenses during the different stages of production? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard because it takes so long, you know. It's been two years since I've made, since I wrote the film. And then we shot it in 2000. 16 and then it takes like six months in post-production seven months probably eight months in post-production and then it had its world premiere like last year already i remember those nerves in june in at the, at the la film festival and then you know now we're again tonight is going to be screening for the first time to johannesburg or you know critics filmmakers at the Rapid Lion Film Festival, it's like nerves again, you know, so it's, it's a process. It's like, unlike stand-up comedy, where I get on stage, I perform, I get immediate reaction. Here I perform and then I wait for 20 months and then I get a, a reaction. So that's, yeah. And why should South Africans uh, see this film? For all the what? reasons I've said, it's amazing. And if they don't see it, they're going to miss out. It, it's also like a great, it's a, it's a fun film to watch. It's a quite, I mean, I think a lot of grown-ups are going to sit this uh, and watch this film and go, oh, wow, I can totally relate with these characters. I know this world. And I mean, I've watched it with foreigners in like foreign lands where people have gone, whoa, Johannesburg. I really want to go there. So it also, it's also like for me, a love letter to Joburg. But I think after the film, a lot of people are going to be inspired to go get a drink and talk about things you know things that are raised in the film you've been in the arts for for a very very long the time arts, the yeah. arts because the filmmaking arts. is is an art form yeah, no, of course. Um, I'm, I'm an artist man how has you, how, how have you seen it evolve and what's your thoughts on the current state of the film industry in, in I, mean, I think there's a, a, a as a result there's a lot of great films that are being made i think it, it's a and we we kind of you know they're more and more becoming kind of commercial 
you know i think that south africans are going to the movies a lot more um uh, we just have to make films that south africans want to see i, I, I think a lot of people kind of always lament like now with black panther people are saying oh black panther everybody went to black panther they must go to now other south african films as well i'm like yeah but i mean people who are going to iron man before that they're going to these marvel movies i go there i'm like i want to be the first when star wars comes because it offers it's a 200 million dollar extravaganza you know and it's it's a big arena show you know so soon we'll get all those kind of budgets to make those kind of spectacle movies um which do kind of get because you know, they become like four quadrant movies as they call them because like a 12 year old can go there and uh, whatever so yeah i want to get there eventually but i also want to make cool personal movies that are for grown-ups you know and i don't want 12 12 year olds and 13 year olds in going to catching feelings because it's not going to make sense to them but i feel people appropriately aged people please go watch this movie in droves and I think you'll have fun and you'll be able to have adult discussion about what happens in this movie afterwards. And what about the films that people don't necessarily like? The films that evoke certain emotion that people don't want to talk about? Um, the, the kind of arts that just does not, that sort of intrigues us so much or moves us up the wrong way? I mean, that's what art's supposed to do. It's supposed to kind of shake us up, you know? I mean, it's, uh, it, I, mean I don't know what movie you're talking about. I mean, I saw Ingleba recently. Is that what you wanted to talk about? Which, because it, 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 be, it was rated as a porn. I, for me, that was shocking. I was like, really? It just kind of showed, you know, lack of... It was laziness on behalf of whoever, the, 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 the what if the, the creating board, what the fin FPB, forget what they're called, but they're very important. They created my film well, 16, it's a <laughs> great... Thank you. I mean, thank you for not making it a porn. I'm very grateful for that. But I, saw, I don't think Inglaba is a porn. I think it, it's, it could be very offensive to closer people in, a, in some ways. But as a film, I thought it was a well-made film. I, I mean, I can understand how some closer people might go, hey, man, this film shouldn't be seen because it's kind of offensive to my culture. But that doesn't mean, you know, it's, don't go. Just don't go watch Just it. Don't but don't go. tell other people to go. You know what I mean? It's a, of course. I do stand up. I offend people. Don't come to the comedy club if you're afraid of being offended art is supposed to do that it's supposed to rub people different ways the wrong way the right way <laughs> sideways it's supposed to rub All us right. man <laughs> art is rubbing <laughs> us man let's like, get rubbed come watch catching feelings and get rubbed on the 9th of march We'll rub you, baby. We will rub you. We'll oh, rub the hell out of you. Oh, comedian is the director, producer, and actor in the movie. It premieres at the Rapid Line Film Festival at the Market Theatre tonight. Make sure you go see it and get rubbed. It's sold out Tell there. Don't come break. there. Don't come to the Rapid Line. It's sold out there. Go to the cinema. Run away, naked in a faraway forest. Mm. You can focus on your writing. And then we can talk about babies and a big house. We'll be deep in our 40s by then, and everybody you go, oh wow, what cute grandchildren you have. Come on, baby, feed my soul.